Welcome back to the channel guys, it's another crypto lightsaber video and I want to talk about Kusama Okay, we're also going to talk about Sparkpoint. Okay, so good news for Kusama. Kusama is Going again to the upside. All right, we've had another 40% pump from here as you can see I like these W patterns. All right guys um, Just noticed this and um, yeah, it seems to be doing quite well Got a bullish MACD cross on the 4 hour at the moment, so there could potentially be some more upside in this as well. Okay, it's taken out this previous high, and it's now entering into new territory, okay? In the previous videos, we talked about the fact that Kusama was in a clear uptrend and still is, alright? And the shapes that he's putting out right now are quite attractive, alright guys, I think there's a lot more to come for Kusama, alright, we've seen that it came up here and we got that pullback, okay, and it is, you know, heading nicely back to the upside, okay, I don't think it's over for this yet, it could just be a massive impulse, you know, a massive um, pump um, in this coin, especially with the hype around it, you know, being related to Polkadot and all that sort of stuff. Okay, Polkadot is also doing quite well. Okay, still in an uptrend, all right, until it's over. The trend is your friend until the end. Bringing it down to a lower price, it makes it more attractive as well for people to get into it and they can, you know, accumulate uh, shares of Polkadot uh, without having to spend, like, you know, I think psychologically, if you buy one for like 200 and 200 or $300, you know, um, might attract less buyers, okay, but if you can pick it up at these prices, $6 and stuff like that, psychologically it just does something to the mind, you know, and people people would, um, you know, be more inclined to buy Pol Polkadot. It would attract a lot more investors at that price, I personally believe, okay, but Kusama is founded by the same same person as Polkadot, Gavin Wood, all right, and uh, co-founder of Ethereum, all right, if you didn't know does look like it's got a lot more upside okay everything's looking bullish on this chart at the moment but you gotta bear in mind that it has gone up um, quite a lot already okay looking at almost almost 300 percent from this uh, pump over here if we're looking at the whole chart all right because obviously it's clearly in an uptrend you know we're looking at more like four thousand percent roughly all right so that's quite a lot come down from a price at a very low price and it's now over forty dollars all right forty five dollars okay i pointed um kusama out to you guys at around seventeen dollars all right and as you can see since then it's more than doubled all right guys so yeah kusama is definitely one of the winners at the moment especially with some of the altcoins take uh, having a bit of a hard time okay one of them being spark point okay now spark point is one of my long-term holds all right now i'm fully behind spark point okay I'm definitely um a spark point moon boy all right and for good reason okay um i did have to take down the previous video for reasons which I, i've explained to to some of you guys already all right but that that was nothing to do with spark point by the way but um yeah i did talk about spark point in it and what i did is i went back and I looked at the, the fractals on spark point, okay? So I've got my reasons for being bullish on this, all right? But right now it is retesting this lower support line. Did just have a little bit of a bounce, okay? Let's just enlarge that for you guys uh, while we talk about it, okay? We've seen a little bit of a bounce here, but obviously it's, it's a bit, you know, there, there could be more downside for spark point, all right? Could potentially be, or we could just get a bounce back up, all right, guys? Now, if we go backwards, let's go backwards. Okay, you can see that when it was going sideways the last time, there were a lot of these kind of scares as well. Okay, if you look at this little drop here, that was no small drop, okay? Let's have a measure. I mean, this drop here was, you know, 50%, uh, okay? This little red candle over here, okay? Let's just make that bigger, all right? So we've seen it before, we've seen this kind of happen before, alright guys, where you see, um, let me just enlarge the whole chart, okay. 
Okay, so you can see that um, spark point has a big pump and then it comes down, all right, you get a little bounce and then you see it cool off, all right, and then it's going sideways, okay? Now, when it was going sideways, we had a dip there of around 50%, it comes back up and it carries on sideways. We had another dip there, which is probably going to be about 70, 80 percent. All right, and then you see it carry on, ca um, carry on sideways and sideways. Uh, it drops back down to support and it comes up, and you know, so it's just sideways action before you see a big pump to the upside. Okay. Also, what you can see um, on this particular occasion, you can see. You've got the support line, or you've got the resistance, okay? After all this bouncing around, okay, come back down to the support, then it broke through that resistance, okay? Then it held that as support, then it broke up, all right, guys? And then we saw it break that previous high, and we've seen it go to the moon, all right? So with Spark Point, I'm seeing similar things at the moment, okay? So if it does follow suit, okay, what we'd see is you saw it come up, all right, it came down, we got the bounce, then it cooled off, and it started going sideways, okay, held that as support, comes down, bounces off this support level, the lower support line, okay, then it could potentially come back up, okay, go sideways, 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 eventually it breaks through that, comes back up here, okay, starts holding this line of support, and then we start going to the upside, all right? So that would be the ideal scenario, just to see history repeating itself, all right? But there is potential that obviously if it falls below this level, it can come all the way back down to here, okay? Now, if it does, then I expect that there's going to be, most likely going to be a lot of buyers down here, all right, getting ready, uh, prepared to load up their bags for another run. All right, guys, but right now I'm just holding it, you know, Spark Point's one of them ones where, you know, I don't really mind, like, not even looking at it. You know, I don't check the chart on a daily basis nowadays. I just leave it to do its thing. I've got my capital in there, and it's just sitting there. All right, guys, because I strongly believe in the long-term potential of the project, okay? And if you know anything about me, I'm not someone that just holds long-terms lightly. You know, I'm not really about riding downtrends, all right? But as for me, you know, I bought down here at this level anyway, okay? And so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in the safe zone. The fact that I, I bought with profit, pure profits, all right, guys? So even if Spark Point went to zero, I'm not losing anything, all right? So that's a risk that I'm willing to take, okay? You can see that it's down 24% um, currently at the moment. We measure that actual dip, okay, from here. Okay, so if we go from where it fell below the line, yep, yeah, 25%, okay? Could it go down further? We'd have to wait and see, who knows? All right, guys, hopefully we can get that recovery and we can just keep this sideways action going before we see the next pump. Um, we need buyers to come in and, you know, <laughs> keep this chart performing. So yeah, that's really about it. I did have a little something to say about Swipe SXP. Going into a new week, obviously today is a bank holiday. All right, guys, um, obviously a lot of people are bullish on Swipe and you know we haven't quite got that breakout of here yet whether we can bounce off this moving average now after 30 day and just come and just take this level and um, start moving sideways in this level and it can slowly grind up to the top for that pump that everyone's been anticipating um only time can tell whether that can happen one good thing is that they are now um doing on-demand gift cards so they've got a partnership with uh, crypto worldwide to do that and it does look like that Walmart has been added to their user base as well uh, for some of those gift cards, all right, guys? So they've got Netflix, Uber, Apple, and Walmart, and Carters. I don't know who Carters is, but actually Xbox as well. Um, for you gamers out there, that's a bit of a household name brand, you know? Um, that's, that could attract people into swipe, you know? Into adoption using that, and Walmart is definitely one of the larger players in the game, all right, guys? That's definitely some good news for them as well they've also gone live on the ethereum mainnet okay so um yeah swipe is definitely you know no stranger in the blockchain community now um a lot of expectations for swipe in regards to price action and only time will tell also with that one whether that will just do something crazy it's got huge potential all right if it takes out these levels and starts moving up here there could be a very parabolic run for swipe with all the news. Okay, you can see all that volume coming in. That's always a pretty picture. I'd like to see these indicators do something different, but there's always time. All right, and 
I guess if it takes its time, you know, the bigger the move will be in the end. All right, because uh, the volume will build up, the accumulation will continue, and that will all contribute to the next impulsive wave to the upside. Like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and tick the little bell for notifications. That way, you'll get the videos as soon as they're uploaded. All right, so yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.